कैसा रहा आश्रम में आप कल आए या दैट वाज अ वेरी ग्रेट ग्रेट विजिट एंड ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी मीटिंग गुरु जी इट सेल्फ एंड टेकिंग हिज ब्लेसिंग फॉर आवर कैंपेन दैट वॉज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी So, yes. doctor, from your point of view, when you, we sit in meditation or you meet Guru Dev, uh, in terms of energy, vibrations, from a scientific perspective, how do you see? So, first of all, what happens is uh, when you are focused. See, you come with a purpose. You come to meet somebody. The person has got an aura of him, and uh, you know about him. You know about his uh, literature, and you know his followers, and the type of work he is doing. for maybe four decades now so all of that uh, makes you concentrated and focused mm-hmm. so what happens is all other thoughts that you have uh, automatically they vanish and so when you see that person and uh, the way the calmness uh, in his face that's a very difficult thing to find nowadays so everywhere everybody is disturbed so in that context when you see guru ji then he is calm and quiet and If you look at his eyes also you also feel uh, that calmness so that automatically uh, sedates you uh, makes you calm so that positivity is everywhere in this ashram i have gone to so many places and in this ashram i have found that and the other thing is that uh, who sir i have met here everybody is so committed and uh, charged <laughs> positively so they all speak only good i think surely who sir would be coming here must be going back with some treasure of uh, experiences thank you doctor and ashram you said you would just started saying you went to the gaushala and yeah yesterday yeah. evening mm. uh, afternoon we could meet guru ji in person those were great moments and then we went to gaushala and uh, because there was i think 1300 cows and that is people are looking after and then they talked about a1 a2 and all that what happens because of milk mm. because in the way the milk is adulterated in this country and um, so in that context then it there is some awareness that is created in the visitors that yes uh, why the indian cows the the indian species of the cows that is more important than the foreign cows though they may be giving more milk mm. but ultimately then if it is not healthy for you then we have to go to our traditions and go back so that's how uh, and the the enthusiasm when I mean, they were explaining everything uh, that that was great and we could see cows from different states the the species belong to maharashtra gujarat Uh, Kerala and all different places, and uh, so they explained everything about it. And uh, the in charge there, Mr. Ch- I think Chandu, he also showed us some shlok about mm. uh, buttermilk and all. Because mm-hmm. in my campaign also, uh, we promote uh, to reverse diabetes and lose weight. Uh, we say in between two meals you can take buttermilk. And buttermilk is said that Indra also cannot get buttermilk. <laughs> Humans can get so. Uh, that's amrut of uh, the earth we can say and so he showed the shlokas and then different species of indian cows as he rightly said that when you enter the gaushala uh, you are calm and you don't have any other thought in your mind and we really experienced that we were there for almost 1 hour and uh, we were only thinking about cows and that particular the smell of cow dung and everything so that atmosphere itself was quite phenomenal the charging so that was a nice experience how can we uh, explain this energy to sort of people with a scientific bent of mind see actually uh, now science scientific world accept that there are something called happy hormones mm. uh, the way suppose you do exercise the serotonin would be secreted and then dopamine and all that so it makes you happy feels better feel good hormones what we call them so I think that science has already proved that certain thing. Like if you if you donate something to somebody without any interest, without any vested interest, that gives you satisfaction. So that particular pleasure, uh, it cannot be counted in terms of money and all that. So uh, that science has already proved that it happens. Only thing is, when you come here and uh, the the vibes that you get. So if we really do any examination on blood and blood test about the hormones, I think we should be able to surely find out. 
that levels are increasing and these hormones are secreted so that will go beyond any any doubts because see feeling good and that will happen but then that is the first stage a first phase of the secretion of happy hormones mm. the first you feel good yeah. and then the uh, this mechanism would start in the body so i think scientific community ultimately what is important is experiencing it mm. see no theoretical discussion can uh, really satisfy an intellectual man because there is no end to that because there are so many theories and so many thought processes but if you experience it yourself and then you try to find out why it has happened to me i think these intelligent people they themselves can uh, really tell you that what has happened scientifically so let us leave it to <laughs> let those scientific them to figure uh, people out. <laughs> yeah and same thing with intuition process that blindfolded they can uh, feel the colors and all we use only 2% of our brain so we use little of our brain the 98% that is uh, unknown to us so there are so many things in our lives also uh, we find incidents happening that sometimes you feel something is going to happen and then it happens you don't know exactly what is going to happen but you have that idea that something good or something bad is going to happen and really it happens so we cannot say what we don't know we cannot say it doesn't exist that's the real problem so but unless it is exploiting you uh, financially emotionally then i think we should be able to explore that possibility and intuitions if uh, they can be used for the society and some intuition like earthquake is going to happen suppose after 15 days and if somebody can tell us that uh, nothing like it for the humanity sir aapke campaign ke bare mein aap to matlab you are helping us all be healthy and gurudev also says no healthy body healthy mind right to pehle to swasth is so important aap boli aapke aur gurudev bhi maine unka ek video dekha tha shayad at that time he must have met dr shikant jiskar ha and uh, he also suggested in the video that you have to eat two meals in a day that's what he was saying so this campaign is also all about reversal of diabetes and losing weight and here we focus on eating frequency so we say that every time you eat insulin is a hormone that is secreted and if you eat less or more also the same amount of insulin is secreted so what happens if you eat more times you will secrete more insulin and insulin is a conserving hormone so it will store energy in your body and when it is like a switch so insulin level is more your body will always use glucose for fuel when it goes down body will use your fats so if you go on secreting insulin your body and cells are meant for starvation genetically and developmentally they are meant for starvation not for overeating so the cells are always they want that when you eat insulin should be secreted but when you are not eating it should go down and if you don't do that if you go on eating repeatedly and eating i mean any episode eating episode that will cause insulin secretion so drinking tea with a spoon of sugar is also a meal because it is going to secrete the same amount of in- so insulin is secreted in the same amount whether you eat less or more so what we are suggesting is eat twice when you are really hungry which is a natural thing that we normally human beings are hungry twice in a day so you eat twice when you are really hungry that is the first advice in between two meals you can take uh, water you can take thin homemade butter milk or you can take black tea without sugar jaggery honey or sugar substitute that is the advice and then you have to walk for an half kilometers because what has happened is see uh, the health of the body and health of mind both is important so if you only meditate but you don't take care of your body what will going to happen you will blend up with hypertension diabetes all that but if you and if you only take care of your body don't take care of your mind then you will earn lot of money and you will uh, be into gambling or into crime and what not so there should be optimum mix of both so we advise simple exercise because this campaign is absolutely free of cost there nothing is charged to anybody and we don't want to suggest anything that will make people to spend money on machines or powders or something like that so we say that you walk for an half kilometers in 45 minutes that is the good speed but they, you can walk in 1 hour also depending on your uh, knee condition and weight and all that so this is the simple lifestyle that eat twice when you are really hungry drink uh, this water butter milk or uh, sugarless black tea in between and walk for and half kilometers and this if you do this only in 6 months i can guarantee you you lose 6.8 kg on an average and 1 1.5 inches from your belly not only that but if you are a pre diabetic 
you will become non diabetic in 4 to 5 months and if uh, and if you are a diabetic taking medicines and if you are a diabetic not taking medicines within 6 months you will not be diabetic anymore i i don't say your diabetes will be cured but i say that your diabetes will be controlled without medicines so people taking medicines also people having diabetes of 16 18 years also have uh, control the diabetes without medicine. So this is a lifestyle which is why it is important because uh, here in this country there are 8 crore diabetics. In this country half of the operations when you cut our legs, uh, these operations, 50% happen with diabetics. People losing eyesight, 50% is on diabetics. So in a country where the treatment is at least seven to 800 rupees, if you take a minimum medicine like metformin, it will cost you 800 rupees a month and the 70% population of India has income less than 10,000. So we can just imagine that for a country like India, it is impossible to treat diabetes and its complications. So if somebody is suggesting you a solution which is free of cost, doesn't require a doctor or expert, doesn't require you to buy a machine or any powder and more important, you can follow it happily for lifetime. Because there is no restriction except for diabetes, we don't say don't uh, eat sweets. But otherwise, whatever you want to eat, you can eat. Some, you have a craving for a pizza. Once in a week, you want to eat or a pani puri. You can eat. <laughs> but you have got a period of 55 minutes for every meal. So in 55 minutes slot, you should complete your meal. Because the insulin secretion is cyclical. In 55 minutes, it will be secreted once. And after that, it will be secreted again. And that is the logic of finishing meal in 55. Of course, we are not telling to eat for 55 minutes. Yeah, some people misunderstand that and they go on eating for 55 minutes and they will put on weight. So finish in 55 minutes and how you should eat is start with dry fruit or a fistful of groundnuts, groundnuts, then a bowl of salad like cucumber, tomato, radish. Then you take sprouts the same amount and once you finish these three items in the sequence, you can eat whatever is cooked at home with no restriction. You can have milk, curd. There is absolutely no restriction, wheat, jawar, whatever you are eating because we don't want to do anything extraordinary because this is not a diet plan. This is a lifestyle and you have to follow it for a lifetime. And that is the reason people follow it and they are able to follow for years. Now I am following for almost now nine years without any problem. So there are so many of my followers who follow for eight years, six years without diabetes, without medicines. So that is the beauty of this lifestyle that it can be followed as a lifestyle. As one who has practiced a lot of diets, I can tell you, <laughs> yes, that there are no, not so many no's that every time I have to reorganize my kitchen because there's a new diet yeah. and I have to throw out half the things. So it's really simple and straightforward. Yeah. And it was good to get Guruji's blessings Haan. for the campaign. I'm sure uh, we have reached 41 countries now. Wow. With his blessings, we'll reach the entire world because the aim is to make this world yeah. free of obesity and diabetes. It is not only India, it is the world. That we are and it's also at. preventive. Ajkal, yeah. it's for all. It goes back to our older uh, traditions, no? When I was yeah. growing up, we used to eat at 11 and 4. This is how we were brought up. Yeah, so. Ayurveda says, Dvau Kal Bunjit huh. is eat twice. Like Agnihotra, you eat twice at sunrise and sunset. Huh. Similarly, when your Jatharagni is at its peak, you should eat twice. Veda, Veda, it is written that one who eats twice will get the punya of fasting. Mahabharata says, well, if you eat once, you get health. If you eat twice, you get strength. If you eat thrice, you will get disease. This saying is in all languages, Marathi, Kannad, whatever language you say. This saints say that if you eat once, you are a yogi. If you eat twice, you are a bogi like most of us. And if you eat thrice, you are a rogi. So this is our tradition. Jainism has got a concept of Bhasana. What is Bhasana? It's Be Asana. So sit twice, eat twice. That is what Jainism says. Gautam Buddha told his followers, if you want to be healthy, skip the dinner, eat only once because you are the yogi. And the simple prayer that everybody makes to the God. Hindi person will say, Bhagavan, do vakti roti dena. So, <laughs> kisi ne teen vakti roti ka manga hai. So, this is very simple thing which you know from your heart, basically. The only problem is we have become slave of our tongue. That we don't know what is going to happen to this food after we eat. It's very easy to put food in your body. It's very difficult to take it out. And when people become aware of this, that insulin, every time you eat, insulin will be secreted, then you will get uh, weight gain, you will have insulin resistance and then type 2 diabetes. So when they understand it, I think once you understand the logic, I don't think anything else is required because people are talented enough to understand this. 
Uh, three types of people are not supposed to follow this lifestyle because uh, it will be going live and people would be listening to me. That children below 18 years of age, they don't require this. We have got another plan. When they are 15, 16, 17 years old, we say that you eat four times, not multiple times, because ultimately you have to come to twice a day. <laughs> so that is the transition phase. Don't drink any cold drink. The cold drink has got 11 grams of sugar every 100 ml. And that is a poison that people are drinking. And we say that don't play football on your mobile. Go to the ground and play for one hour. That is the advice for the school going that up to 18 children. So that is the first category who should not follow. Second category is pregnant and lactating women. Till the child is nine months old, they should not follow. And third is patients of type 1 diabetes. The type 1 diabetes is because in their bodies, insulin will not be produced. So this lifestyle is not going to help them. So these are the three types we should not follow. Type 2 diabetic, they should definitely follow. But they have to follow the protocol. Because if they are taking medicine three times and they will eat twice, they will get hypoglycemia, which can be a dangerous condition. So generally they should approach my coordinators so that what medicines they are taking and all that will be, they, they can get proper guidance with that. And definitely if they follow it, the diabetes would start reverting. Whatever, however old it is, however medicines they are taking. Because this is the only way of reverting diabetes. And also the tendency to eat is also comes from stress. Or Kurde yeah. Kutna will think man, it's a kind of catch-22, is it one feeds into the right. other. So the mind and the effect of the body and the reason for yeah. eating and watching TV and yeah. eating. What happens is now depression is one of the conditions where depression people their way out is eating. So there are certain conditions, syndromes where people are depressed. They will eat more and more food. They will not be satisfied. They will go on eating. People who stay at home, they are lonely. Maybe people with some disability or people with some like leukoderma or something. Then other people are taunting at them and something like that. So they become aloof. They remain alone. And then the only pastime is eating. The other thing is there are certain food items. Like if you eat a wafer, it has got more salt. So if you eat one wafer, you feel like eating another. So these are addictive foods. Like more oil, more sugar, more salt, they are all addictive food items. So once you eat some amount, you will continue eating more and more amount. So you have to stop at the first bite itself. Because otherwise it is like any other addiction will land into that. One of the uh, doctors, Robert Lustig, says that the sugar is so addictive that the way we have, uh, we have legally banned from the liquor and tobacco sellers to sell it to children below 18 years of age. Similarly, you should stop selling sugar. <laughs> and he's fighting with the sugar industry for the last 30, 40 years. So, but if you, if you don't go to that extent, but at least reducing sugars and sweets in our meals, that's a great idea. Because all our celebrations, all our, uh, whatever anybody comes, we offer sweets. So instead of sweets, we should go for cashew nuts and uh, uh, walnuts and almonds. They are costly and they are rich in proteins and fats. That's a, that's a good food to eat rather than eating only sugar <laughs> and jaggery. Because what happens is, one uh, point I have noted is people who are into meditation and spiritualism and all that, they ignore their bodies many times. So, but that's a very uh, bad thing to happen. Everybody and everybody <laughs> It's a body. <laughs> is a body. So everybody has blood pressure, everybody has uh, blood sugars. So if you don't follow the normal rules, then you will add into that. Your meditation will help you to keep it at a low level, that is okay. But then ultimately you land into taking medicines and all. So we can avoid that by doing. Very good. And I, I am and grateful to you for this. I, I, I offer my you. gratitude to Guruji ah. uh, and all those organizers who are bringing me here and showing this. Please. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. We all need it. Thank you very much. And we all have to learn how to eat. It's such a basic skill, but uh, we've sort of lost our <laughs> way. And thank you for reminding us, bringing us back onto a healthy lifestyle.